rookie of the year who's and by rookie i mean like it has to be a breakout season it can't be four and it can't be saka because <laughs> although they are they are recognized as under 23 best players or young players but that's so stupid that four young players are also a player of the season uh so i'm going to take this not first. that but like breakout season go ahead all all on you uh kobe menu for me breaking out at a team at a dysfunctional team like united at this point of time a lot of players have done that rashford's done that ganacho's done that but kobe menu was just you know coming in and like just going to the england squad so quickly just because of the position he plays in um the talent that he has in that position and the potential that every single player manager can see in him uh, he, united season could have looked quite different if he wouldn't have gotten injured uh, and he got injured right in front of my eyes when i was watching uh, arsenal versus united right. pre season yeah. game but uh, amazing players just like the the qualities that he has uh will suit the england squad and united squad well for for a lot of years and most importantly he has he's in the saka mold of players who are, who look humble who feel like they're going to work hard and actually you know not get lost in the in the biz and you know keep a head above the thing and actually go on and become really good players so for me rookie of the season has to be kobe man yeah mom see mom see agreed Yeah, I don't think I'll pick anybody else. He's been he's been really good to watch, bro. I, I for me, what is priceless about this rookie of the season was just Klopp's reaction in that game like, when he did that fucking one two that and just like went inside that flick and then like go in and then Klopp is just watching Sobasla and McAllister and like all these boys that he bought it just like standing <laughs> there. Some eighteen year old kid is just like doing this shit over there, yeah. <laughs> running circles around them, yeah. Yeah, and just that reaction, I think, tells you the talent he has. And yeah, like Nirav said, ha- probably has a head above his body, like keeps calm, and you know, I'm I'm hoping like we can build around Kobe because Eriksson's fucking dead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, yeah. so there are so many people who are dead and buried in your team. <laughs> you yeah. So many, so many of yeah. them. You know, kudos to him for looking like fucking Ragnar or some shit, like with his daddy and all. But he's yeah. he's got to go, bro. Like, like retire in Denmark, but he go to like Copenhagen or some <laughs> shit. But <laughs> apparently, he was this that Kobe Mane was playing this whole season. He's like, oh, how can he start this rookie over like, you know, like my experience and shit. Bro, he he's still dead, bro. He didn't come back from whatever happened on the pitch in in Euros or in World yeah. Cup, whenever that was. <laughs> his brain yeah. is still not functioning. But I think for me, it's a. Uh, Apart from Cole Palmer, who definitely had like one of the seasons, he's probably like one of the bigger shout for player of the seasons. But I think for me, it's Jared Branthwaite uh, from Everton, superstar English defender. Probably the next John Stones. Hopefully, City don't snag him. Hopefully, United don't snag him. Hopefully, he stays at Everton and comes to us sometime in the future. But yeah, I think for me, he's been an outstanding player, cornerstone of their defense. And if you look, if you take away the deducted points they have, they're basically. 10th or 11th in the league and probably would have gone on to do much better because of the incentive of you know going up the league like once you're 10th you want to perform better because you want you can you see the european spots so i think he'll be key to them next season if he stays or wherever he goes next i think he'll be a superstar so for me jar brentford good shot bro really good shot like really you know shot. um surprise another... that we didn't pick one thing I'm surprised that we didn't pick any Liverpool boys. I know that he started. You know, he picked. A, he started a lot of boys. Like Kelleher played a lot this season. Kwanza I'm actually. I was just gonna say season. that, like, uh, 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 like a shout is Connor Bradley, because when he came mm-hmm. in, he had like really good performances, and to replace TA and not feel an inch of replacing TA is actually a really big deal. There were some games where Liverpool fans actually wanted to continue starting. Connor Bradley and not um, get TA back in, so that's a testament to how good a uh, starting season that he had. Yeah, agreed. Totally agreed. I think Liverpool. A lot of these categories, Liverpool players missed out just because of the way it ended for them. Uh, if it had gone a little bit longer, a lot of these categories would have gone on to like you know some of the Liverpool players. Like for example, VVD. Uh, we didn't even shout out to him. For the best no, defender, dude. But the I thing is that BVD can. So BVD is someone. So we can say that Endo is a bargain of the season because of the performances he had. BVD is a player yeah. who's had insane performances already. He set that bar so high that this season, when he was doing good, we all felt like he's come back to almost his best. Yeah. The way he it ended, it just wasn't there. And when you look at numbers, you just can't beat Saliba and Gabriel on anything. 
Agreed. any defensive yeah. action clean sheets say considered anything bro any saliba and gabriel are above everyone else so that's why vvd for me doesn't have a shot if you're including vvd in the team of the season that's just because you want more representation if you're being real here saliba and gabriel are the center back pairing for the team of the season rodri can go above rodri can has to be ab- ahead of them and then you can have rice or whoever i don't even mind giving up odegaard i don't mind giving up rice as well but saliba and gabriel you should you can't give up they, if you have a team yeah. with both of them as center backs you guaranteed like like amazing defensive performances funny that none of them are starters for them i mean gabriel is now but like none of them are starters for their national teams which is like mind boggling of how i mean they've come around national teams, national teams work around, yeah. like yeah, bro, internationally starting yeah. at the euros Do you think about it this way? Uh, Pickford is a starter for England, so yeah. I mean th- there are so <laughs> many. I would say, like f- I can name five better England keepers than Pickford, and it's not even funny. But it's all about yeah, no, national tournaments about experience, right? So that's why they start Konate. That's why they start uh, Varane because of this. But eventually, there is no doubt in my mind that both of them are going to be like important players in their national teams for sure, hundred yes, percent, both and- of them. Hopefully, hopefully it starts this summer Dude, because I would Copa love some America, Arsenal players to get some. I'm uh, sure experience. Bremer. I'm sure Bremer and Gabriel are going to start Copa America. It's going to happen in the US. Hopefully, we get to see one of those good games. Like, uh, yeah. Brazil, yeah, that's the best. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Bremer. Yeah. yeah. 